Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some apparent news. So, this is my final video of the year. We're going to be heading into 2020, the new decade, so hopefully we can reach 100,000 subscribers in a few weeks or so after today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so what we're talking about today is sort of news, right? It's coming from We Got This Covered. And obviously you guys know, I've been vocal about them in the past, they are not reliable. But the thing that they are reporting is kind of obvious and, you know, there have been lots of articles in the past few days via different sites saying similar news. So we're pretty much just going to go over it, talk about it. Obviously you can't really trust them, however we're pretty damn sure this news is actually true though. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this. So this is talking about Chris Wood returning to Supergirl as Monel. So sources close to We Got This Covered, the same ones who said that an Arrow spin-off for Catherine McNamara was in the works back in March, and that Kevin Conroy would be playing Batman in Crisis, both of which turn out to be true, have informed us that Chris Wood is set to return to Supergirl at some point. It's unclear when exactly he's going to be back right now, but we've been told that he'll definitely be seen on the show again. You could speculate that he'll be dropping on by later in Season 5, maybe in its final episodes, but we haven't been able to confirm exactly when he will be back, or whether he'll be a guest star or return as a regular. Of course, fans know mon was introduced back in the finale of Season 1, showed up in Season 2, and then when his pod crashed in National City, he was found by Supergirl, and so on and so forth. And remember that he went back to the future with Wynn, that's where he was left off. And so we don't know what's happened with him currently. But anyway, so that is the news apparently from We Got Discovered, and we've been talking about this a lot. Obviously, we're big fans of Monel, really want to see Chris back, big fans of Chris just himself. And so I felt like we had to go over this. So basically, and I've explained this lots of times recently, but I feel like I have to explain it again. Maybe if you want to skip over this bit, maybe skip like a few minutes later. Okay, so you probably heard this if you are a regular watching these videos. But anyway, so recently, last few weeks, Chris has been in Vancouver. I'm not sure about now, considering it was Christmas, but definitely before Christmas. He was in Vancouver for about three weeks or so maybe two weeks, and it was around the time that they were filming the 100th episode, and so they had the 100th episode party, Chris showed up, and so obviously from that you can speculate that, yeah, maybe he's going to appear in the 100th episode, but he was around Vancouver, and prior to that, he hasn't been in Vancouver much, because he lives in Los Angeles, and Melissa just comes down and visits him, obviously they're husband and wife now, so they do spend quite a lot of time together, but not necessarily up in Vancouver, and so he hasn't been up in Vancouver before those few weeks, you know, prior, just a few weeks back, for a long time. Like, I don't know, seven months, eight months, nine months, something like that. Even when they first started shooting again at Comic Con, he was still down in LA or wherever he is situated. And so speculation has gone on, and I'm pretty sure that We Got This Covered has just listened to some of the speculation online, looked at some of the facts, and then, you know, reported it themselves. I'm pretty sure that's what they've done. But I've talked to people who are around the set, they said that, yeah, Chris is in Vancouver, and people are pretty confident that he is probably going to show up at some point, because he showed up in Vancouver, and it seems all too kind of perfect, that it would be around the 100th episode when they were shooting, then he was there for the 100th episode party, obviously he would be there to support Melissa, but he's not obliged to be there, and so, you know, mainly the new cast was there, so with him being there, does that mean, you know, maybe that he's going to be in the 100th episode, and that's why he was at the party, to celebrate his return, but also Supergirl's 100th episode, obviously, mainly, so... I think that Chris is probably going to return, I think he's going to return as a guest star, I don't think he's going to be a series regular, although I would love him to be a series regular again. I feel like, yeah, maybe we're going to see him as a sort of cameo in the 100th episode, I think that's very likely as of right now, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Obviously we can't really trust we got this covered because 
you know, they basically report on whatever they are thinking about. They don't really get any evidence. But I'm pretty sure they've listened to the speculation, and that's why they've made the article. And so they've sort of added, like, two things together, and it's like, oh yeah, let's get some clicks. Okay, so cutting in here, this is basically the end of the video, but I wanted to include this. I wanted to do something, um, because it's the end of the year, and I know that most of the regulars will be watching this video because it's related to, obviously we have a big following in regards to Monel and the stuff on Supergirl, so I thought it would be a good time to thank you guys for everything you've done for me this year. We're this close to 100,000 subscribers, and it's been a great year. It's been really good. Um, we are really close, and hopefully we can reach that very, very soon. But I want to thank you. So, let's recap some of the stuff that we've done this year, and we've, um, you know, covered and been to and such. So, earlier this year at the Ultimates, which was a convention in uh, Birmingham, um, I met a bunch of you guys. A bunch of you guys were there because it's, like, pretty super girl heavy, so obviously, like, a lot of you guys want to try and get there. We're going again this year. So met a bunch of you guys there. Uh, got some photos. Um, stuff like that. And it was just really fun. I really loved it. It was um, just a really great time. And yeah. I really look forward to this year. with In regards to conventions. Hopefully they do Heroes and Villains. I'll be going if they're doing it. Um, MCM. If time works out, it's not like the biggest, the biggest thing, but definitely the ultimates. Going back to San Diego Comic Con this year, that was amazing. That was a highlight of my year going to Comic Con. So yeah, I will be back at Comic Con this year in the summer. I am actually staying with Paigey this time, so that's new. Um, that's very exciting. And what else? What else? Hopefully, I can interview Melissa again. That was a big thing this year. I got to interview. Melissa Benoist and the Supergirl cast in real life at Comic Con. That was the best experience probably of the whole year. Meeting my idol. I've seen her um, in New York the year before for Broadway. It was amazing. But then I got to see her and I saw her about five or six times over you know, the four or five days of Comic Con. And I actually got to interview her, which was just the best thing. I saw Grant Gustin at Comic Con. I was about to interview the Flash cast, but the timings didn't work out, so fingers crossed, this year I'll get to interview the Supergirl cast and the Flash cast, maybe some other people, I don't know, but um, that would be a dream if I could actually talk to Grant in real life, but we uh, talked to Melissa, Kyla, Nicole Maines, Makar Brooks, David Harewood, it, the list goes on, it was amazing, I really loved it. So if any of you guys are planning to go to San Diego Comic Con this year, please be sure to say hi because I will be there. I'll be around the Los Angeles area as well. So I don't know if you're from LA or something like that. Please be sure to reach out because it's always great meeting you guys. And, you know, just did some general stuff. Saw, like, Nicole Maines, Kyla Lee, like, twice in a year, which is nuts. And, you know, actually got to talk to them and then... You know, on YouTube it's been it's been good. We've been making videos pretty much daily, as much as we can. Um, I think last year we got to about 50,000 subscribers, or maybe a bit more than that. And then, you know, we're at 99,700. So close. YouTube keeps on taking away subs, and, you know, we gain, and then we take away, and, it, you know, it goes on and on. Um... So that's, that's been obviously a struggle towards the end of the year, but, you know, it's all good. Because we will eventually make it, hopefully. Really am looking forward to next year, especially with the events that are going to be coming up. Like I said, the Ultimates, I'll be there. San Diego Comic Con, I'll be there. Um, and then maybe if anything else pops up, I'll be there. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you liked the segment. It's just like a little rambly kind of thank you segment for the end of the year so anyway guys i'll catch you guys later goodbye
I see red.